coming for you, sis. Hold on, Odd. Odd! I'm, I'm gonna find you, okay? More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It, a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single... An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. The scariest painting Evan's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mis- stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof! Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, sweet summer mud cake. I miss her too, child, but she's gone now. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. 
the queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Listen, even, it takes two to be a jack. One to be the jack and the other to be an even bigger jack by pointing it out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? <laughs> yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about her wanna. Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. That it is, that it is. But I didn't get this far by chasing after ghosts, and I recommend you do the same, even. Go on home. Your parents will be worried. Saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Uh, come on! Or whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why?
Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So, you ever wonder what life's like in the other zones? So long. strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, suit yourself, Missy. I ain't gonna force you into doing anything you don't want to. Oh, but before you go, a word of warning. Be careful out there, Missy. Tonight's the night the junk collectors come. His boat's here, and the guards over there don't let nobody close. The harbor's hiding secrets tonight, Missy. Oh, they load up the boats with junk and take it to other areas at random. Though what for, I can't rightly say. Nobody who knows is willing to say. And nobody else can see for themselves. Everyone just keeps their heads down and does their job. Except for me. I don't do any of it. I'll never work for that rotten queen. This is safe travels. <laughs> 